admittedly, I was skeptical about how much weight you can save with these simple swaps to your backpacking kit. I've never been an ounce weenie, but I gave these methods a test and I lightened my pack by just over 8.5 pounds. Wowza, my friends. Here's how to lose that weight in your backpacking kit by spending less than $75. I'll even give you my biggest secret to saving weight on the trail with one mega tip that shaves an additional 1.25 pounds off your kit at the end of this video. I'm Meg Atterbury and I'm a longtime backpacker and ex-professional writer for the outdoor industry. I wanna give you all of my secret hacks for leveling up your outdoor skills. Each hack saves you more than the less, so let's dive right in. When it comes to poo, most people use this. But for just $4 more, you can upgrade to an uber lightweight shovel made out of airplane aluminum. This saves you 2.6 ounces. Ditch your toiletries and embrace the funk. You realistically just need a toothbrush and some toothpaste. If you've got long hair, braid it and leave the brush at home. If it's shorter like mine, you can use a lightweight comb or just your hands. You don't need wipes, use water and a shirt, deodorant, lotion, or any of that stuff. If you're really savvy, you can put dabs of toothpaste on wax paper and let it dry for free to get all the water out. Your savings is 3.1 ounces and that does not include the toothpaste trick. Another go-to is to swap your liquid sunscreen for a sunscreen bar. Wearing UPF clothing instead of using sunscreen is more weight efficient as well. The total weight saved here, excluding the clothes, is 3.3 ounces. Nut butters are an incredible source of calories per pound on the trail, but if you use Tupperware, you're losing out. Individual packets save you around 2.2 ounces of packaging. Next up, ditch the bags that hold your tent poles, footprint, stakes, and tent. For my Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL2, this saves me five ounces. Be picky with your clothing. I will wear the same thing day in, day out on the trail and pack a shirt and socks for camp. The weight saved here varies, but that's one pound, two ounces of savings for shorts, underwear, socks, t-shirt, and a sports bra. Multiply that per day and you get the picture here. With just the small stuff, we took out a whopping two pounds and 2.2 ounces from our pack. I'm a total convert now. The ounces really do add up and we've only spent $25. Here are the heavy hitters. This next hack saves you one pound and 12.8 ounces. Use odor proof bags and a dry bag instead of a bear can. Bear cans are heavy and bulky and should only be used if they're required by the trail you're hiking on, so leave them at home. Bring a sit pad instead of a backpacking chair. Now, I really love my backpacking chair, so this is a hard one for me to recommend, but I found a sit pad for $10. Check it out in the show notes. This move saves you one pound, 10.4 ounces. We are now up to 5.6 pounds in pack savings and that was just the gear. My next tip, only take the water you need. Water roughly weighs two pounds per liter, which is a big yikes. If the trail I'm on follows a water source, I'll only bring a liter and filter as I go. That automatically saves me three pounds since my bladder weighs 2.5 liters. That's 8.6 pounds you don't have to carry. Now it's time for my biggest tip yet. And it's a controversial one that gets everyone talking. Ditch your hiking boots. If it's not snowy, exceptionally cold, really muddy, or you have a medical reason, you do not need to lug these things on your feet. Instead, use trail runners. You'll get just as much comfort without the weight. This isn't directly pack weight, but lifting an additional one pound, five ounces with each step wears you out a lot faster. Check out the show notes for my specific recommendations for saving weight while backpacking without breaking the bank. Everything I mentioned here costs under $75 total. I've even got a breakdown of the products and my hiker math for all you data nerds out there.